Well, golf course. Did I dream that whole thing? Maybe the desert was just the sand trap. Oh, and I bet that crazy pyramid was just a pro shop. And that talking coyote was really just a talking dog. Hi, Homer. Find your soulmate. Hey, wait a minute. There's no such thing as a talking dog. <coughs> Damn straight. What's up, everybody? Man Bear Cow here. Teaching druids how to get the rune of efflorescence. Which will teach you efflorescence. First, we're going to head to Feralus. The best way to get there if you're a horde character is to follow the main road west from Freewind Post and Thousand Needles. If you're Alliance, your best option is to enter from the Barrens, following the main road west from the Great Lift in Thousand Needles. And just as you enter Feralus, there is an Alliance settlement south of the road near the Lower Wilds. From there, both factions will head west, taking the main road through the mountain pass. And just as you find the road heading north towards Dire Mall, we will head south into the High Wilderness. At the southern end of the High Wilderness is a large structure. Take the ramp up into the structure, and then keep an eye on your right side. Inside the tower is a night elf NPC named Tiresias. He says, Whatever Kaldori knowledge you seek will not be found among these ruins, Druid. Not anymore. However, while the physical lies in ruin, the spiritual remains. Seek the guardian spirits of Azshara, the Hinterlands, and Feralus. You will know them by their shrines. Prove yourself to them and heed their words. Their wisdom will be passed on to you, so that it will not be lost to time as so much was here. Alright, so we will need to prove ourselves to three guardian spirits, and we're already in Feralus, so let's start here. From our current location, we will head north back to the main road. Head back to the intersection where the main road meets the road towards Dire Mall. On the northwest corner of this intersection is a hill, and on top of that hill is the Shrine of Feralus. Click on the shrine and you will receive a buff called Duty of the Warden. There does not appear to be a time limit on this buff, so you can take as long as you like. From here, right on the other side of the road to the south, is a small plateau where you can find Gordoni Warlock Ogres. Fight one of the Warlocks until they cast Shrink on you. Use your D-Curse spell in order to remove this curse. You'll know it worked when the buff text says, You have cast out what corrupts the spirit. From here, we will take the main road east back through the mountain pass to the south end of this area called the Writhing Deep. Here you want to fight a Zukash Wasp until it casts poison on you. After you've been poisoned, you want to use your spell Abolish Poison to remove it. You'll know this worked when your buff says your duty is fulfilled. Now you will head back to the Shrine of Feralus. As you approach the shrine, a level 50 non-elite Triant Avatar will appear. Defeat the Triant Avatar and the Soul of Blightbark will appear, the Guardian of Feralus, and he will grant you his blessing. One spirit down, two to go. Next up, let's head to Ashara. To get there, follow the main road east out of Ashenvale. Continue following the main road northeast through Athshara. But as you approach the ruins of Eldorath, you want to leave the main road staying on the high ground. A short distance north, you will find a small plateau with the Shrine of the Beast. Click on the shrine and it will tell you, Hunt the White Stag with Tooth and Claw. Continue a short distance to the northeast. Here you will find a small valley where a white deer named Child of Aparo wanders back and forth. The white deer is immune to magical attacks, so you will have to defeat him using physical attacks in your feral forms. After you have defeated the white deer, you will receive a Sacred Stag Heart. Head back to the Shrine of the Beast and right click on the Sacred Stag Heart to offer it to the Shrine. This will cause a Hippogriff Avatar to appear and attack you. 
defeat the Hippogriff Avatar, and the Spirit of Whispering, the Guardian of Azshara, will appear and give you her blessing. Up next, we will head to the Hinterlands. Oh, and before you go, you can find Horde and Alliance flight paths here and here. To reach the Hinterlands, you'll want to head to South Shore or Tarn Mill in Hillsbrad Foothills. North of Dernhold Keep, you'll find a pathway heading through the mountains. Continue following this pathway into the Hinterlands, before heading east through the middle of the zone, although Alliance players may want to make a pit stop at Airy Peak to pick up a flight path. You'll head through an unpaved area before meeting up with the road again. Follow the road as it curves east until you reach a point north of the entrance to Jintha Alor. Here you will find a tall hill and on top of the hill is the Shrine of the Moon. Interact with the Shrine of the Moon and it will tell you The calm comes before the storm. At this point you want to cast Tranquility followed by Hurricane. This will summon a Moonkin Avatar. Defeat the Moonkin Avatar and the Spirit of Sagefeather, the Guardian of the Hinterlands, will appear and give you her blessing. If you found this guide helpful, show us some love down below in the comments. And you might want to consider joining the channel with a monthly membership. Memberships begin at $2.99 and are a great way to show your support. You can also earn exclusive perks like early access to videos before they're released to the general public. And in phase two, we're definitely gonna have a lot more runes to discover. And you're gonna wanna follow this channel so we can help you find those runes. So do yourself a favor and smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we release new videos. We are now ready to turn the quest in. But first, Horde players may want to continue southeast along the southern edge of the mountain range just outside the entrance to Jintha Alor. Here you will find a path that heads down the hillside Head south along the grassy beach towards Raven Tusk Village, where you can grab a flight path. Now we will head back to Feralus, where we will turn the quest in with Tiresias. He says, You have proven a dedicated pupil. The work of preserving ancient knowledge is often arduous, but you have taken the duty admirably. There are many more mysteries in this world for you to uncover. I hope these tools will aid you in that journey you will receive the Rune of Efflorescence and a level 50 healing trinket. Just right click the rune and there you go, you have Efflorescence. This is Man Bear Cow signing out, saying thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.